Hi, this is Corrine from Corrine Carpinal Art, and today I'm gonna to show you how to use Duralar two-sided matte film from Graphics to paint this blue-footed booby. And we're gonna be painting on both sides of the paper. So the Graphics Duralar accepts ink, lead and colored pencils, it erases easily. It cuts very cleanly. It's an archival polyester film for drawing, drafting, and mixed media. It comes in this pack, and as you can see, um, it is translucent, so I can paint on both sides of the film. And as you'll see when I um, go into the painting, I've actually painted on both sides of the film to create this little painting. So to start, we're going to use our Duralar we're gonna use alcohol and blending solution. I have several brushes here, a toothbrush, um, a white Posca pen we're gonna be using, a fine tip black Sharpie marker, and Ranger inks, a white uh, snow cap mixative, um, a green, a blue, a brown, and a black. So let's get started. Let's start by placing my Duralar over my drawing and just outline the bird with a pencil. Now I'm gonna take some brown ink from my palette and just paint in the trees. I'm working on the reverse side of the paper. I'll add some green for foliage. And a little bit of brown for sand. I'll sprinkle it with a little bit of alcohol and turn the paper over and start painting on the opposite side to paint the wing. I'm using brown ink from my palette and a little bit of darker brown as well just to get the effect that there's feathers. We'll add a little black ink And with blue ink, I'll start to paint in his little webbed foot. I'll add in a little bit of black ink and some more blue just to create some dimension in the foot. And I'll add a little white Posca pen for the webbing. Using a Sharpie marker, I'll start to outline the eyes. And then I'll use my blue ink to paint in the face. The ink is pretty dry from my palette, which you saw earlier, so that I can do this fine detail work. When I'm done with this, I'm going to turn the paper over, reposition it, and use a black Sharpie marker for some of the feathers on the bird that I want to show through the paper. Next I'm going to take some diluted black ink from my palette and just paint in the shadow areas. Continuing to use the diluted black ink, I'll paint in the rocks. I want this color to show through the paper to the front side when I'm done. And I'll sprinkle it with a little bit of blending solution from my toothbrush when I'm done. Then I'll turn the paper over and start painting on the other side. Here I'm using Snowcap Mixative to add some white to the rocks and some gray. And painting some more foliage in green now on the front side of the paper. And I'll add a little bit of brown ink here and there for depths. Now it's time to use the Posca pen and paint in these quirky little feathers on our bird. And I'm doing this on the front of the paper. And you can see the black Sharpie marker that I did previously, as well as those shadows that I did on the back side of the paper are showing through. So we'll just fill in the whole chest of the bird. And this is supposed to be fun and funky and whimsy. Using both the Posca pen and the black Sharpie, I'll add some details to the face.
Next, I'll use a little bit of my inks and just finish those fine details on the face. A few final touches and we're done. I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of how we can paint on both sides of the Graphics Duralar two-sided matte film.